What's up, folks? How y'all doing? Kanal here, Bulls on Wall Street. Uh, you know, a little bit of a down day in the markets today, but uh, nothing real, nothing too bad. You know, the markets were just pretty much flat, choppy all day, but, you know, overall it just looked like a rest day, and that's what we need after such an extensive run-up, right? Coming off, you know, 1350 all the way to 1425, that's a pretty nice pop to do in a matter of a few days. So we, you know, we, we're consolidating a little bit here. This kind of this 1410 zone is pretty important down to 1400. And so, you know, let's hope that, you know, if we can kind of contain that area, um, the market will still have some momo and there'll still be a lot of breakouts and stuff happening, um, even if the market's dipping a little bit, because we'll still be in a demand zone for the most part. Um, you know, uh, I'm still a bull as long as we kind of hold over this 200-day moving average. Uh, these pullbacks have been pretty light. Even intraday, you know, when the market dips, it's nothing. And uh, a lot of stocks are breaking out. So it's, you know, it's still fun trading. And that's the big thing. When I'm looking at, you know, stocks in the market, uh, as a primarily a short-term trader and a day trader, you know, I'm more looking on the action, right? Is the, the price action on, you know, whether stocks are breaking out, whether they're following through, you know, whether the moves are clean. Um, that's what I'm more interested in. You know, and so it's been still pretty easy trading for the most part the last few weeks. And uh, as long as that can keep up, then I'm in a good mood. Uh, let's take a look at the watch list. There should be some decent stocks here. Uh, cool. Uh, you know, these bottom base breakouts have been really running. I think that this one's going to go. It's just a matter of time. Um, LPHI, uh, Dr. Tim from my chat room sent this to me. Um, it looks pretty good over here. Right, just coiling up for a nice little run. If it breaks this 200-day moving average, I think uh, we could get a nice move in it. Um, SMCR, another bottom base breakout here. I mean, it's really just lining up for a, a, a nice move. Uh, AAU, look at this kind of this $3 mark. It's on the attack here. If you can break three, it could probably go. NIHD, this one's not as clean as SMCR, but um, you know, it's still got a nice little look to it. Uh, I think that this one probably is going to tap, you know, the 550 range. Zolt, right, after the, this big move here, we're just consolidating right under the 50. Let's see if we can break over the supply zone and get this thing going. Uh, Club's been having a dead cat bounce the last couple days. You know, if we get one more push up, you know, I start looking at this for potential short. Uh, Vivis to me still looks like it's kind of basing out for a run. As long as it holds above 11. Um, or actually 1088 to be exact. Um, I do think it's going to start trying to break uh, 12s. There's just not that many of these setups left. SMBL, if you look at the long-term chart on this one, right, this is a, you know, we're flagging here, but we're flagging right under, you know, yearly, multi-yearly highs. I think that that's, uh, you know, got a chance to really move. Rovi, I don't know how powerful this one it is, but it is a range break. And, you know, those things can go. Um, it doesn't look explosive. You, you look at the candles, right? Uh, it doesn't have very many, like, big, big, you know, 10, 20% days, like a lot of the crazy stuff we like to trade. But, uh, you know, still got some action there. And then C-Trip, you know, I was looking at this one all day. I couldn't really find the entry I wanted. Well, I found one, but uh, I caught it too late. You know, after this move up, uh, it's just kind of flagging here between 19 and 20. And I think that this one probably does go. If you look at Kihu, I mean, this was a beautiful flat top breakout here. I totally missed this. It wasn't, I just had taken off my radar for five seconds. But, um, you know, beautiful flat top breakout. This is a very similar type of company, C Trip. Uh, let's see if, you know, this thing can get some momentum. So that's it for now, guys. You know, short watch list. Um, a lot of stocks in play, you know. Uh, look at my blog from uh, yesterday. You'll see a lot of the stocks are still setting up, and um, I still like them. Uh, these are my new additions. And so, you know, always clean out your watch list. I think there's going to be a lot of stuff to uh, play tomorrow, and uh, I'll see you soon. Peace.